What's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel. Comment is bottom down below. So go ahead and subscribe under the bell. Leave a comment down below in this video for your chance to be in the next video's comment of the day. In today's video, we are doing a 1v1v1 mystery box fishing challenge. What mystery box will we get today? I think we're going to get every single mystery box inside of the brand new Carl's Fishing and Outdoor Store. And then when we get to the pond, we're going to choose each other's mystery boxes without knowing what's inside. See if we can catch the biggest fish because in Texas, everything's bigger. So the biggest fish wins today's fishing challenge. And if you guys didn't know, Mystery Toggle Box is the sponsor of today's video, but we're going to do more on them later. I'm actually excited to go see the store because during the meetup, we didn't even get to see it. We just like walked in and then boom, we were just meeting up, not explores hence the meetup <laughs> you might be wondering norma how are we gonna do a 1v1v1 challenge when there's only two of us we're actually meeting weston at a crazy fishing spot here in texas <laughs> we're not in florida we got some different types of fishing all right well we're gonna go inside the first ever carl's fishing outdoor store and uh buy every mystery box they got let's go All right, guys, we are here in Carl's Fishing and Outdoors. Probably the coolest fishing store I've ever been in. That's saying something because we go to so many fishing stores, but this one takes the cake. It's, it's crazy. Because if you look right here, they have uh, Goo Goo Squad merch, and it's also crazy because I'm like, Goo Norm saves them for something. Goo Goo Squad Dark on. We're gonna do a little tour of the store, but main mission, do we gotta get every single mystery box because we have some fishing to do today and we're running late. Yeah, it's Jack Pack's fault. He, he's yeah. always waking up late. He's yeah. never getting yeah. here on time. Yep. What we might have to use today, we're gonna pick up some things that are unique to the store too that we just can't buy in any tackle store. Yes. We have a couple of these Guggen Squad Texas Edition swim bait. So we might end up throwing these today as like a little bonus lure just to try to yeah. catch a big fish. Yeah. But they have fish flops. <laughs> have you ever seen rainbow trout fish flops? I have not, but I feel like we both need to get a pair. Should we fish in the fish flops today? I think so. Bro, that boy finna drop the, the most fire mixtape of 2022. Dude, they have crappie flops. Crappie they have, flops? Yeah, they have all different types of fish. Oh yeah, I'm rocking those. Guys, right when you walk in the store, there's already a ton of mystery boxes, but there's a massive wall full, probably the biggest mystery tackle box wall of all time, but we're gonna start here, Yak Pack. We don't get to choose which ones we get. I'm guessing once we get to the pond and we're with Weston, yeah. the fishing starter kit, I feel like this would be a great kit for you. Yeah, I've never fished before, so I was just hoping that you had a, um, an answer to that. Jokes aside, guys, this kit's actually pretty cool. It comes with everything you would ever need to catch a fish, and it comes with like tons of instructions and like YouTube videos. All of that stuff is in here. So if you guys know somebody who's not into fishing, this would probably be the number one fishing kit to get them. I think it's super cool. I don't know why for so long there was never something in stores that was made for beginner fishermen. Here it is. So that's mystery box number one. Do we need a shopping cart? There's no way we're fitting all boxes and there's i'm literally looking at like there's like 12 different boxes Dude, I'm there's boxes i've never used before so we have guys of course i get these to my door every single month the mystery tackle box pro and if you guys use code norm 10 i think it is but that's probably the wrong code it's like code fwn it's it's one of those will pop up the correct one right here you guys can get a box to your door every single month and save money on fishing lures and try stuff you've never used before so every box that we get in the store today you can have order directly to your house or you can stop by the carl's shop if here in Texas. So here is the multi-species kit. Yeah, we're already running out of room. We're two boxes deep. Every box, right? Every box. Every box. The lead. I'm pretty sure this is like a $50 box. It becomes like $70 worth of fishing lures. <laughs> we're gonna have so many fishing lures by the end of this. You guys, one of the craziest things I've ever seen in a fishing store before is they have all these lures hanging on the wall here, and all you have to do is pull one of the lures out like this. And it plays a video on the whole entire lure, how to fish it, everything like that. I don't know why. Every tackle shop doesn't have that. Because yeah. a lot of times you're like, oh, what does this lure do? Well, they have videos that show you what it does. I just thought that was super cool. And yeah. Never seen this before. Literally ever, ever. Won't learn how to use a blazing worm. Boom. Please view my video. Is it? Why is my video not showing up? Oh, no. There can, there can I did not even there. mean to do We're that. I'm so sorry. 
got the store already, oh, man. Dude, I didn't even pull it that hard. Just don't, if you come here, just don't do that. Yeah, just don't rip it off the wall. I'm so, I'm so mad at myself. For, I just ruined a beautiful display. It's like yeah. sideways now. You can just cut that out of the video. Like, we just don't put any of that in. Just for my job. <laughs> So this is where it gets interesting, Yak Pack, because basically everything on the side of the store is a mystery box. I don't know how we're gonna even fly with this stuff back home, so we gotta catch fish on it today. Yeah, so we have a 10,000 fish fishing kit. This looks super cool, and I've never opened one of these before. I have no clue what comes inside, so we're putting it in the box. Then we have another 10,000 fish fishing kit, but it's just a different box. It's going in the box. Look at this. Bio I've never seen that one. I've box. never seen that one before. Not the big one. Dude, we're gonna have so many mystery boxes. Here's another one. We're all gonna have like three mystery boxes each, I feel like. There's so many mystery boxes. Oh, I forgot about the Yeah, the entire wall, wall of, of every mystery, mystery fishing box ever made. Yes. So let's grab all of them. We're gonna try to convince them to let us get all this for free. So wish me luck. I bought Lojo a speedboat and rumor is he's just trying to tow it out and sell it and keep the money for himself. And I spent all my money trying to get him a nice boat and he doesn't appreciate me. So I spent all my money on a boat. I don't have money for mystery boxes. So I'm gonna try to either get these for free or steal them. Dude, I ain't gotta outrun him, I gotta outrun you. There's only one employee in here too. So I think we could probably. Which ones do we not have? There's a regular bass. Oh, do we have to get every number? I didn't think about that. There's box number 341, oh. box number 338, box number 401. 401. Each wow. box, guys, has different stuff inside of it. So this one, like, for example, has five to six items for around 25 bucks worth of value. It's only $17 here in the store. So no matter what, you're basically getting like a free fishing lure or two in each box. I feel like we are saving money by buying more. 38, 41. <laughs> 401. Dude. There's different elite boxes and different bass boxes. I, I think we need all of them just to make sure because you know we don't really fish around here that often. So I just want to make sure we have everything we need. Don't mind us. Let's do a little tackle shopping. No, we're not going saltwater fish, we're going bass fishing. True. It's every mystery box. Yeah, you're, you're cheating. Right. I, you're I cheating. All right, we'll get all the saltwater ones too. It's a lot of boxes. And our rental car is not gonna be able to fit these boxes. <laughs> Probably gonna have to hang some out the window. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the biggest mystery box unboxing slash fishing challenge of all time on YouTube. We have like 20 mystery fishing boxes. We're definitely gonna give some of these away too. 87, wow. state champ. We're gonna give some of these boxes away, like probably the saltwater ones and stuff that we're not using today. So all you guys have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like the video, and drop a comment down below which out of all these boxes is your favorite, especially after we unbox them so you know what's the best one. All right, you ready to get these things? Yep. All right, you do that every time. Yeah, I never want to. Boom. Wait, get, big, get the biggest one. No, yeah, that's yeah. big. Ooh, this is like that game Jenga. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it steady. I always wanted a uh, mystery box bigger than me. Does that joke work in the, this one too? Uh, fan face bigger than me. It was, it, A was a better. <laughs> Last box. You breathed on my bad. Well, guys, we have every mystery fishing box known to mankind. So if we don't catch fish today, it's probably the fish's fault, not ours, because we gave them everything they could ever want. We're going to check out all these mystery boxes, head to this apparently really fire pond in Texas, do a little bit of Texas fishing. I haven't done that in like a year or two. So I'm excited to see what fish we can catch today and get this 1v1v1 challenge on the road. I'm going to attempt to walk up there. Wait, there's still more. All right. Well, folks, we're at West and South. Yeah, you run those. I'll grab the last couple. What? What is that, Yak? Who is this? And what is this, man? Oh, my God. Dude, some of this stuff I've never seen before. What I know. is this? Whoa. Uh, that's every mystery box in Carl's. Plus no a couple way. extra. Cats and Seek? Cast and seek. That would make more sense. Cast and seek. <laughs> Cast and seek. I've never done an unboxing this big in my life. Who gets what? How are we going to determine who gets what box? At this point, I think it's just like a get what you get. Like, there's literally everything you can possibly think of with fishing lures. Just one at a time. We'll just go around and we'll just keep grabbing until there's no boxes left. Cool. Until starting heavy. I want this box. I want to do this big one. Uh, what's <laughs> your turn? I'm left with the small boxes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try a bio spawn one. I don't know right. much of this. All right. All right, I got 10,000. I'm going to eat. Panfish and trout. I'm just going to go with something different. I'm just going to get some panfish lures that might actually hit. I like that. Hit. I like that. The go-to. Never fails. 
There's too many, man. I don't There's even know what to do. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Everybody gets three, oh, and then okay. we're gonna give okay. all the rest of the mystery boxes away. Because if we open this, it would literally be a two-hour video. There's yeah, no joke. Two hours of just the unboxing. We each have three boxes, and as you can see, there's probably about 10 to 15 extra boxes here. We're gonna be giving all of these away to you guys. So just drop a comment down below what your favorite box is. But we're gonna unbox each of our boxes, see what we have. Yakpack, I'm gonna let you have the honors of unboxing your box first. We just put all these to the side. That's what I'm saying. It's a good um, one here. There's gonna be 15 winners. Ooh, I like for that. This. So guys, drop a comment down below, subscribe, leave a like on this video, but I need a comment of what your favorite box is out of all of these. Yeah, wow. Boxes. Yeah, you can trade boxes. Okay, I know what comes in that. I don't know what comes in this. So that's what we want. Okay. All right. <laughs> box number one. All the right. box with the, I think that's like that $100 swim bait. <laughs> It is. We'll keep that as our knife. Okay. I'm actually excited to see what's in this box. 10,000 fish makes great baits, but I've never seen what's inside. Well, I, have, I haven't seen the Biospawn box. I haven't seen the 10,000 fish box. There's a lot of boxes here I haven't opened before. So, sticker. Oh, that's looking oh. good. Oh, this is the cycle bait. Literally, one rod swears by this thing. The Neko, the Koshi Bugs, the, uh, what is that? The Yodo Worm. That's a really good color, too. That's like a really, really natural looking. The Saw Crawl. Oh, those are fire. Yeah, I'm about to say, you were killing it on those. Yeah, what color is that, too? It's like a red flag. Yeah, it's yeah, like, like got that. some good, good looking colors. The uh, Head Hunter. That's a really good size. Mm. Little swim bait, too. And last but not least, well, I've not seen this yet, the Death Stacker. Is that what yeah, that's stalker. stalker. They can go to college like more. I don't have four engineering degrees. Are we going box for box? Or are we going? Yeah, we'll do, we'll do box for box. I'm like actually going to trade off my saltwater fishing kit just because I really want to see what's in this cast and seek box because I've never opened this one before. So I'm going to go ahead and crack right open to this one. We're going to try to keep this as fast as possible, guys, because we could be here for hours. And there's so many boxes to unbox. I don't think there's ever been this big of a fishing unboxing on YouTube before. That I could be nice. wrong. I think you hold the record leading up to. Yes. Cast and seek box, and it comes with a ton of instructions inside. We got pliers, like stuff to catch not only just bass, like with worms, but like, like all these little crankbaits, grubs, yeah. you catch little every species. That is so cool, and it looks like you can like scan a QR code up here, and you can learn how to use the baits, like videos will pop up. Yeah. yeah, instruction, wow. everything. So I think this box so cool. is super cool. It's like your first time fishing, you have everything you would need to go fishing, not just the lures, but like the pliers coming in handy. And, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, hooks, weights, line, everything. Sure, this box comes with a fishing guide too, so oh, no, it comes that's with, cool. with, with everything how to tie your knots, like literally everything. If you were to never fish before and needed to know how to catch a fish from absolutely nothing to reeling in your first fish, I mean, this thing has everything Does that for say you. that you how to unhook a fish? Yeah, it's got everything. Well, it's, how it to tells handle you how to fish, hold how to hold them. That's so cool. Dude, I wish this was out like when I first started fishing because it took me years to learn how to do everything. Talk and this about the like... ultimate gift to give somebody like, you want to get your boy into fishing or whatever, like boom, done. Yeah, that's right, what I looked up when I first started fishing vlogs was how to hold a bass. I, I remember that, I remember you telling me that. They thought of everything in this, that's pretty Cool. I'm gonna open up the Mondo kit right here. We're trying to catch big ones today. So let me break this thing open. There we go. The jig. I mean, this is a year round bait catching big fish. And then they got a little mini banger in here. More bites from that smaller size. And Shad, you can't go wrong with that color. So I'm happy with that. Got some hooks in here. Whether I'm going weightless or adding a weight today, throwing around the Texas rigs and even a spinner bait. I mean, this is just one of the easiest baits to go out there and catch big fish on ponds, lakes, you name it. It's got a crush. Second box for me, the Elite MTB Bass Fishing Kit, $60 value. Dude, I could do this all day. I can sit on box yes, fishing dude, lures. Yes. I love tackle. Bro, off Ooh. the rip. Off the rip. <laughs> Swim bait. The Bull Shad. Another head hunter. Sticky hooks. The jig and a really good color too. The rattle bot, really good color. That's a really good little crank bait right there. Another goat sticker. Norm, you're the goat, so that's your sticker. Thanks, I appreciate you. All right, you're very welcome. <laughs> Spinner bait. Lake Fork. Remember these? Oh, you dude, remember that? Dude, <laughs> we, we did a uh, the motherload box yes. video and caught a great one on those. Those were killing it. The the like there's like a thin piece. Uh, it's like sectioned off. It's insane how good these are. And then we've got the uh, the vile bug, oh. very good color, the Okeechobee crawl looking color. And then last but not least, the uh, Guggen Banger Square Bill. So that is a very solid box. That's 100% worth 60 bucks. Dude, and high value items too, like a swim bait, the head hunter. That's a $20 swim rattle bait. Bots. I mean, jigs, everything in here is like high value. So that's what I like to see. So since and you so, just opened yeah, one of those. my next one, this is almost like a comparison because I've got the pro box, right? That's so that perfect. was the elite. So we're going to open this thing up and we're going to see what the difference is because I know a lot of y'all are curious. And I'm um, going to trade mine out too because you just opened an elite. Oh, I want to okay. give this one away. So I'm actually going to grab the original bass fishing kit, which is only 20 bucks, Ooh. but you get $25 with the lure. So right here in the pro box, you've got hooks 
all the techniques and tips in there. You've got a crankbait and shad. You've got a small micro crankbait. More bites, you got a swim bait, and you've even got soft plastics for the bottom. This box is gonna crush it today. I'm stoked. You boys might be in trouble. I got the red lipless crankbait. One of my favorite lures of all time. And we got a jig. Dude, I got exactly what you got too. Let's go. I got the Lake Fork. Yes, uh, bro. Oh, there we go. And we have the vile bugs in here. And guys, these things, they're great on a Texas rig. They could be like a chatterbait trailer. This jig trailer, literally, there's so many different ways you could fish with this thing, which is cool that they throw these in these boxes because you can kind of pair them up and do tons of different techniques. I'm most excited for this box and your box yes. and your box. Everybody's yeah, I, last boxes are the coolest ones. I've never opened one of these yet. The Bio Spawn box, this big one, I've never seen this one. I have seen that one, never seen the big one though. So super excited about this. All right, off the rip, Vial Bug, the Vial Tube, which is new. Brand new. So yeah. it's, it's literally a, you know, you're getting brand new product in this box. Oh, and and my favorite color too. Oh, I'm mad jealous Bro, about that. Yeah. Exopod, really good either. I mean, you could flip it, pitch it, chatterbait, trailer, anything. Texas rig it, the Exo stick, great color. Plasma tail, this is the first biospawn bait I ever seen. I got it in a mystery tackle box in like 2016. Super big confidence. Dude, on this. the shaky head, the underwater yes. test they did. Ooh. With those, a lot of worms fall flat. That one actually, cause it has a little hollow in the tail, yep. Yep. it sticks up and it actually stands, which I think like actually Wait. leads to more fish catches. Yeah, I, I believe it, I believe it 100%. We got Vile Crawl. Well, the Exo Ned. Another brand oh, new bait. So I know, that's what that's Norm's junk right there. You're, you're, you're still, still going. going. <laughs> I know, bro. This, <laughs> you talk, no, by <laughs> far, like in far, this is my favorite box, hands down. Dude, this is crazy. Another uh, Rattlebot here. And then the brand new Vile Minnows as well. And again, my favorite color, that Pro Blue Pearl Red. Killer, killer box. My favorite box, hands down. One of every Vile Spawn bait ever made. Like, I don't say that. Cause I got the smaller, the smaller box, and I feel like I don't know if you got any drop shot worms, but I got the little plasma oh, tails. You know yeah. that'll get a bite if maybe it's a little slow today, which yes. I don't expect. That's but, the you know. bio spawn one, the smaller one, right? Yes. Oh, dude, he's got some so, gas in there. There we go. Yes. Bio oh, crawls. <laughs> bio crawls. Here we go. Red ribbon tail worms, and these are bite size, y'all. That's the seven inch. Let's go. We got some baby crawls for Texas rigs. Whatever you want to do with your crawls, man. Swim baits. I mean, we can hit them from all angles today at the spot and a red lipless. So oh we're all throwing the money. And why we love doing these videos, guys, is because I want you to make your own decision on which box is the best. So let us know down below. But we've opened some terrible boxes, like really yeah. bad. But I feel like at least you guys can make an educated purchase along. Like if you guys want these things, you can like know what you're getting. So we kind of test it out first and you can see yep. what you're going to get value wise. But I have never opened this box before. So I saved it for last. I'm most excited about it. And there is a ton of stuff in here, dude. Dang. My gosh. Oh, you said frogs? Might oh. work in a spot? I'm, I think I got the only frog you so far. Yeah, yeah, you've got the only frog. We have swim baits. Yoda worms, great trailers. Throw them on Texas rig alone. Draws, I mean, those things do everything. A buff to protect me from the sun. The Sakoshi bug, which is great for Ned rigs. Dude, the cycle bait, spinner bait, that's great for nighttime. The black and blue with the Colorado blade, with, yes. which just basically means it's a circle instead of the willow leaf blades are like the more narrow ones. These move more water. So at nighttime when they can't really locate it, big bass really love this stuff. Yeah, there's so much stuff in here. We got paddle tails. I mean, perfect for everything. Probably throw on a jig head. you're still going. <laughs> there, there's so much more. I don't even know, guys. We're not even talking about everything. Those shots look Little great. drop shot baits, man. Those catch fish right there. Yeah. That reflective, oh, that little metal dude, that's piece. That's so realistic looking. That's crazy. You guys see that shine? I don't know how well it shows through camera, but the shine on there is ridiculous. Like a reflective slip in there looks so realistic. Do you think it's going to open all 15 boxes? There's so much. Oh, there's an underspin for all the paddle tails. There we the go. One. There's more. The Zushi Bug. The Zushi Bug's perfect for Texas <laughs> All right, man. I mean, we got everything. We could stay here all day and talk about these and how they work. But I think the best way to show how they work is to go fishing with them. All right, well, guys, remember, we're giving every box we didn't open away. And also, we'll even do a 16th giveaway with everything we don't use in our boxes. We'll give all that away, too. So. Really, all this stuff is going to you guys. So like and subscribe. I think this 1v1v1 challenge started. I'm bringing the heat, not to flex on you guys. I've won like seven out of the nine of these things. So all right. my odds are pretty good. I'm bringing my A game. And I think I got the best boxes. So I'm feeling confident. You better be ready, man, because I'm feeling good today too. These fish are biting and hey, comes down to the one big fish. We got this. All right, folks, we're out here. <laughs> the pond or the lake, I mean. Stability on this boat. <laughs> we fished here one time before, 
and it was absolutely insane. We only had like 30 minutes, but I think I caught like a good amount of fours and fives. Today could go crazy. I gotta figure out what I gotta tie on first. We have so many mystery boxes, like it's overwhelming. Top water's gonna get good later tonight. We even brought the long lens to try to capture some crazy blow ups. But there's wood, which I really like. There's grass and there's bass. It's a lot of weight for this battery. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, there's four of us in a two person John boat. Wow. Oh, I ripped the box. Oh, I do have a frog. I forgot about that. That could come into play later. We're definitely going to have to use that. What I think I'm going to start with out of my mystery box is the saw craws in the black and blue color. Little Texas rig action and uh, craws and jigs are known to be two great lures to throw in Texas. So I figure we'll rig this thing up. We've got some giants on this in, uh, in Florida. Hopefully we can do the same in Texas, but I hope you guys are ready to bring your A game, man. I'm feeling like I'm gonna catch a big fish today. I just got the fish tingles. Yeah. The fish tingles. <laughs> mm. What are you gonna start with, Jack? Like you doing Texas rig, moving bait? Uh Probably gonna start with the uh, exo ribbon, the little uh, curly tail exo worm. It's exo ribbon, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is. All right. Well, I'm gonna start with the saw crawl. What's what are you thinking about throwing? I think a moving bait, just to switch it up. I want to see if I can key in on something a little different than y'all, and maybe take uh, some big points home early. All right. I like it. Three different styles. We'll see who prevails. And we got probably two hours before the sun goes down. Top water. Last hour of the day is gonna come into play. Let's uh, get the mystery one v one v one started right now. <laughs> I've talked about this bait quite a lot in the past. You catch fish on it and the top gets, uh, you know, ruined or whatever. You, you, it's sectional. You just peel a piece right off of it. So one of my favorite stick baits ever. We start with that black and blue, good color. Can never go wrong with that. There you go, keep the fish. Oh, I got bit. Oh, got one. I got one already, boys. <laughs> I don't think he's very big. Slow down out here. <laughs> It's only about one fish this challenge, so we need a big one, and that is not a big one. Oh, but it feels good to get a fish in the boat. That was literally my second cast on the saw craw. <laughs> and uh, I don't even think, dude, it's a chunky, healthy fish. That's what I love about the fish here in Texas. In Florida, we have like big mouths and they're super skinny, but in Texas, they seem to have bigger bellies on them. I prefer to look at this bass more, but uh, there we go, fish number one. Well, I gotta say, boys, I'm so confident, I'm not even gonna weigh him, and I'm gonna throw him back because I know he's not gonna be my biggest. Yeah, All right, Yak Pack, you got the exo stick? Yeah, I got the exo stick. Oh, and Weston's getting the zinger. Front, I just got mine rigged. So y'all, I'm throwing that zinger. This is the 3 8 ounce in the shad color. It's gonna do some damage, I believe, here in just a second. Let's get it in the water. I'm gonna clear the net out because I feel like we might catch a giant. So I wanna make sure our net is ready to go. And guys, even though it's a competition, somebody catches a giant, just be good sports. And net the fish. And Weston, if you catch a giant, Dad, I no, promise. No, you hook it, you net it. <laughs> you hook it, you net it. Is that how we're going to play? That's a you problem. You hook it, you net it. All right, all right. I like the competition. <laughs> I, don't, I, oh, I love you. this. I hope you hook a 12, Norm. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, don't let me grab the net because I'm going to make you miss it on purpose. <laughs> I love this. The competition is real. <sighs> I just still can't believe we piled four grown men <laughs> into a two-person John boat. I love this. It's a little bit of danger. You know, I feel like we could, oh, got bit again. Got him. Ooh. There we go, number two. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> He's a little bit bigger. He's not a tourney winner, but I will take it. Already, the first lure I picked is getting the job done. I've just been swimming the saw crawl too. I haven't been hopping it. Just swimming it through these pads. We got tons of pads and hydro oh, up here. One more. Oh, Dang, I just missed one. Yak bag just had one. We only have two hours of fish. We might catch a ton of fish. I'm gonna weigh this one just for fun, just so we can have a number that we know how to beat. That was like two casts after my first one. It's literally been five minutes. 106. No one's PB. <laughs> my new PB. <laughs> I love it. They look so cool out here. I know that's like. Something that every fishing YouTuber in the world says, like, wow, this fish looks so cool. But they actually kind of do. They have like a cool green to them. I'm gonna stop talking about the colors of the fish and put them back. See you, buddy. All right, boys, I'm just saying. The good thing is on numbers, Turney. I'm gonna have to break out the high school jersey. Oh. Well, guys, we got pads, hydrilla, tons of grass. Just a perfect place for a bass to want to live. Oh, you're throwing the sticks too, the log? Yeah, but I'm wondering, man, based on so like what we're seeing, I think they might be on the bottom. You think? I don't know. I'm just curious. Y'all catching them on those bottom baits out there. I'm swimming like kind of quick though. Okay, all right, all right. TJ might have the best spot right there and then pass. That's what I'm saying. I'll, I'll, the Lord bless me with this one. The bigs are lurking. 
The way Yak is fishing though, flipping that Cinco. I just got a feeling he's gonna hook a giant. Like he's not playing the numbers game, he's playing the size game, flipping down these pads. Look at this grass right here below us, y'all. Just like a foot and a half below the boat. Nothing oh, yeah. but good looking grass. Crystal clear water too. Oof. Bro, I see you trying to get beat me to the freaking... <laughs> <laughs> to the, to to the, the big tree. <laughs> Dude, don't worry. Oh, you're in there, man. Oh, I got one. Oh, he, oh, he, let, he, let, he let go. I promise you, I just got hammered, though. I'm getting, my, I'm getting like my hook set stance ready because I just know whatever is in this tree. Are you on something? Oh, yeah, I'm dude, on something. Yeah, your rod's... Oh, Yak's got one. That's a good Wait one. a minute. That's a good one. That might be a good one. That is a good one. Yak, what do you got here? <laughs> he was swimming with it for a minute. Oh, no. Dang. Oh, I got bit too. Oh, no way. Let's go. Dude, I just got bit and he left it again. Oh, God. <laughs> that's really not even the cast I wanted to make. Like, I'm actually not, like, I'm not mad that I caught this fish, but I'm like, dang, that's not... Not what I wanted at all. I was waiting to get closer because wow. I had a, I had a cast in mind that I wanted to make, and that, <laughs> whoever just made that cast just did. <laughs> That's the one I wanted, but you know, you I would never complain about a solid fish. We got pliers, Weston. Uh, yeah, it's closest to you actually. They're on the side of the boat. See them, kind of like I got it. <laughs> got one! Oh, I got one too. That one might be big. <laughs> oh no, oh, he's not. So deceiving. Your hook set was like uh, like one of a 10 pounder hook set. Dude, I thought wow. so too. Well, not worth weighing to him because guys, Yak Pack's got a big one back there. But first double up already, literally been less than 10 minutes and it's just, it's on. Thank you, Weston, for putting us on. 2.2 on the dot. 2.2 is the uh, the size to beat. I'm gonna go ahead and get this girl back because you don't want to keep these fish out of the water long when it's as hot as it is. Peace, big mama. The Mystery Mega Box All Region Champ 74 and 76. Got 75. I was disqualified for. I just got disqualified. We won't talk about that, but I'm in the lead with a 2.2. Get back uh, rigged up and get back to fishing. Like we're like we're we're bros. We're homies. But Norm is so competitive. Like he's gonna pull an eight out of his butt just because. Like that's just how it always goes. Like I don't. It just Norm is just. I don't know how he does it, but he does. I really don't want to lose this man at all. I don't know why. I just. When there's fish biting, I just get, I get too into it. I notice that that might be my biggest flaw is like, I kind of get into these challenges a little bit too seriously. <laughs> oh, got him, got him, got him. Let's go. Well, that's my fourth or fifth fish. I think it's number four and that's my biggest one, but it's no 2.2 pounder. The sock raw is just going insane. Look at the hook set right in the noggin, right where you want it. And I'm hopping it sometimes and then swimming it back to the boat. That's cool about like the craws and the blazing worms, the, those two specifically, where you can work it in a single spot that you think a fish is gonna hang out. And then when you reel it back to the boat, it still has an action on the way back where you have a chance to get bit, not only when you're in the structure, but on the reel back end. That's what just happened. That's a free fish. Let's go. I just need a big one. I might have to switch it up to the frog. Fish for that big bite. Get in between that grass right there and you, yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe to the tree. Oh my gosh. My I'm not letting I you just, anywhere near those trees. I just keep turning and everything looks so much better. <laughs> I'm taking us this way. Norm's got the advantage up there. I almost fail. There's four people on a trolling motor that was built for one. Literally, yeah. On a 12 foot John boat, that's four foot wide. And I kind of count as like one and a half people, maybe two. Yeah, it may be two, yeah, seven foot three. Then you can make two people out of that. Uh, oh. Oh. Son, you gotta put that rod down for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that wow. one, that was a baby though. I promise that one. You wanna take back over, Weston? This is I, your boat. I, I mean, I can, <laughs> yeah. unless you want to. No, I hate oh, man. driving. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to drive the boat. They just wanna focus on fishing. Weston, I'll say we go to the trees. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let's, uh, no, 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 to be honest, we might find a big one over there. Norm's not catching any big ones right here. So, Cause if we're gonna be drifting downwind, we might as well just see what the trees have to offer. Oh, dude, these trees. If we hook a giant. Oh, I got bit. Got him. Oh, he, is he still on? You dude, it might be good right? unless he's I, in I'm a ton of grass. Dude, I still I got think him. You're stuck. I think you're stuck. No, I'm not. No, I am now. Dang it. Well, here, I'm just gonna leave that, that in there good. so we don't ruin the spot, Norm. And uh, TJ and I are gonna fish all that real quick. Okay, perfect. Oh God, I got stuck, Weston. Oh God, hold on. I was. Oh God. I, never mind. We're good. Just kidding. It was bright. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up a left-handed reel. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably gonna be the worst decision of my life, dude. That might have been a big one for real. Watch the uh, rod just disappear. 
Okay. Oh, he let it go. That's great. I just had one. I'm letting him swim with it. Okay, I gotta back us off a little bit. Hold on. Sea legs. Wow. Oh, I got one on the left handed combo. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, I picked up Wes's rod because I got hung up after one wrapped me around. Got one on the zinger. Obviously, that doesn't count for me, but they're, they're just munching. Oh, you, I think you just had one too. Did you not? Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. Wherever there's wood or grass, they're eating good. <laughs> Wherever there's wood and grass, there are large mouth bass. That was some weird stuff, Say, Sorry, I know you. No, we're good. Wait, wait. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Holy smokes, dude. When you're getting stuck up like this and hung up, this is like, you know you're in the good stuff. But to be fair, we usually don't catch big ones in here. Usually just bites, so. Once we get to, see where these white birds are? Yeah. Right here, that's that's like money. Anywhere along that line, okay. uh, in the past. So, they like to move around here, but you know. I'm gonna switch it up, guys. You know, it's working, so you should never switch up what's working. But I'm gonna try the vial bug, just because I've already caught like six on the saw craw, and I feel like, Got to try something different and plus i'd love to upgrade bites i don't know if this is too big of a switch up or not but i figure try something different all right i'm back boys all right calling my shots first cast of the vial bug right here oh yeah there he is got him oh that's oh that was so <laughs> good yeah back that was so good i'm actually really scared for <laughs> your safety casting in there Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That no. looks sad though. Well, see, there's a stump for a fish out here. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, Norm, that's the one. Oh, that's the one, Norm. Stay on there, baby. Oh, 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 that's the one. This might be like a contester with yak packs. That's bigger than mine. Come here. I got you, dog. Come here. That's bigger than mine. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Boat flipper, let's go. It'd oh, be a shame oh. if you lost the fit. Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> back with, with the, the net. net. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I'm about to dump this fish back in the water. No, don't you do that. Stop that yak pack. <laughs> Dude, that was my first fish on the vial bug. An upgrade. Damn. A decent upgrade, too. Oh, yeah, I got That's you. That's a big fish. Oh, oh, my gosh. That is a Texas brute right there, boys. Put her on the scale and see. I gotta beat 2 2. Yak pack, I think this is gonna beat 2 yeah, 2, man. Be two, two. But I don't think this is gonna win the whole thing. That's what's crazy. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. It's touching three. Keep going. It's locked on 294. 294 is the number to beat. Okay. Holy smokes. Hey guys, we're just getting to the spot of lake that gets super deep. Tons of reeds. Oh, oh, there we go. Weston's got his. There we go. That one might be under three. Ah, oh, <laughs> dang. Dude, non-stop action out here. Basically right here, a three pounder, 294. And uh, I think the deeper this gets, the more wood, the more grass, the bigger these bass could get. So we're gonna let her go. Get that double release, Norm. Oh yeah. Shoot. God! Oh, oh that's that's going going too. Too. <laughs> Dude, I didn't get back in the water. <laughs> Dude, what have we caught? Like 11, 12 fish in 15 minutes? We caught some fish right now. Oh my. Bro, this little joker right here, when I tell you this thing smoked it, I mean, smoked it. This is nuts. This is crazy. Just a triple up. This is just a quick trip. so <laughs> many fish. Bro, it's 100 degrees out. It's 100 degrees and they're still biting. That is crazy. Oh. All right, I made the switch back to the saw craw, guys. It has a little bit more kicking action and I like it for the swim back. Where'd you cast that, Norm? Oh, we're going to start playing that game. That's cool. <laughs> I love this game. Oh. He's cheating. Nah, see, I knew before he even did it. <laughs> I knew he was joking. Norm, do you remember the time we were at Lake X, the lake house? Yeah. You remember when I was goofing off and like lost that big, Ooh. big fish on a bandito bug? How big do you think that fish was? Because I remember your your comment to me uh, after you let out a big sigh. You was like, yeah, that was probably the biggest bass you would ever call. That might have been 10, 11. I don't know. God. It was gigantic. I just That was John Boat memories. You know what I mean? Yeah, we saw his mouth come out of the wall. Ooh. Oh, I, oh, I got one too. Do it. Oh, got him. Let's go. <laughs> was the only one that left. <laughs> wow. Dude, this is just nonstop, guys. Wow. But this is nuts. I'm losing count. I think this is fish number seven or eight. And maybe 20 minutes. It's crazy nonstop action out here. We just need to find the grandma to these bass. So, see you once again. And, dude, if I keep catching two pounders and one and a half pounders, I might have to go big or go home and just throw something ridiculous. 
I'm thinking about it. I'm about to say, Norm, I think if you're going to make that switch, I'm about to say, I think it's top water. I think I'm a, I just, I caught a five and a half pounder here last time on a Texas rig. Yeah. Two of them, actually. Look at this. Where's your camera, Zade? Look, this is when I'm catching fish on. I, Norm literally laughed as soon as he saw it. <laughs> this is how I'm catching fish. <laughs> one and a half ounce. <laughs> just eating it. I never doubted you. Fish. Oh my gosh, he got one. No, no, you don't. That was a big fish. I, he's got is he still on? I don't think so, but that was a good one. He, as soon as I pitched it in that pocket, he was there. Holy like, cow, I mean, dude. They're like on it. Five minutes is up, folks. I'm going big or going home. I could get an absolute giant on top water. And this is one like mean looking frog. I, if I was about to be scared to eat this thing, but it looks super cool. So I'm not giving this thing up until the day is over. I don't, I haven't got a fit fish on a frog in a while too. I'm actually kind of excited. Weird, yeah. weird for a Florida fisherman. Yeah. You would think. <laughs> <laughs> How do you work your frogs out here? Fast, slow, do you walk them? You... I've been walking them lately and it's been working pretty good. Uh, but don't be afraid to give it a pause if we don't get a bite pretty quick. Sorry. Like a decent pause, they might just come out of the woodworks for that. Oh yeah, come on. Oh! I know, I missed him. Oh I let him have it for just a second too long. Wow. I was trying to crank in some slack because that's a long hook set over there. Yeah. That might be good though, the wind blown side. That might be what they want. Oh, oh. Never, mind. never mind, just kidding. Right. Just kidding. Let's, uh, let's work towards that side though, because now you got me curious. Have we both had a bite? I just don't know if I can work through any of this. <laughs> Yeah, dude, because I want them too. Oh. Ooh, what just happened? God, I saw dang that. It. <laughs> dude, you're, they are loving your frog and they hate I don't me. know what's going on. <laughs> don't worry, I'll catch them. Fudge. <laughs> them, I keep trying to cast them inside the boat no matter how tense they are. Come on, someone grab this. Hey, Norm, can you, can you do like a motion of a hook set as, uh, like just, just slightly? Got him. Oh, ah, come on, baby. Oh, yes. I don't think that's going to top Norm's almost three pounder. So we're just going to toss him back. But that's my first one on top water. <laughs> Can't beat the old Gookin Frog out of the MTB boxes, boys. Whew. Let's get him back in there. Top water frog, 100 frog. degrees. Come on, I know you're there. I know you hungry. I know you hungry. I know you're hungry. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, boys. ribbit, 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 ribbit. This is it right here. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I want to see y'all catch ribbit. one ribbit, out of ribbit, that ribbit. so bad, too. Like, ribbit, as we ribbit. Through here. Oh, sure, dude. I got you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so fast on that hook set. Yeah, that's a, yeah. <laughs> you stole it from him. Yeah, I'm not a, yeah. The whole frog fishing thing. I love it so much, but I'm so bad at it. The new channel that I had was growing like crazy. I just, I made a decision to, that I, I wish, I wish you did. I can't even see now. Let me know if he. Oh, you're on the other side of it. I'm watching your frog. Go, 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 He's in there. Go, go, He's in there. Dude, he's ripping. I don't here, know if I got here. him anymore. Hold, hold up. Let me, let me flip the boat around. Oh my god. Was it a big one? Yes. Uh, it's <laughs> looked big. I don't know. I don't want to say yes, but. Here, Holy we're going, cow. We're going. You think you got him? I wonder. Oh, I didn't even I see him. I just pulled the hook still. You literally set the hook perfect. I watched all that happen. Here, get ready. We're gonna go by here fast. Oh, you got him. Oh my god. I really think you. I think he's still on here. Oh, there's no foot. He's not shaking. Yeah. Oh, Where are you yeah, at? Where no, he's not. He's gone. Are you oh, sure? No. Yeah. Dang. That was such a perfect hook set. I literally was watched. Epic. Wow. <sighs> Solo, man. That's cool. That's frog fishing, though. You get to see him. Or I didn't see him that time, but it's the toughest hookup ratio, guys, just because of these hooks. You really got to drive that hook. I learned the hard way. I had like 100 blow ups on a frog before I ever caught my first frog fish because I was fishing with monofilament. You got to have heavy braid, a heavy rod. And a high spear gear ratio reel. And you gotta jack them as hard as you can with a tight line. You reel down until you feel them, straight up. I think I did everything right there. It was just bad positioning. When you're fishing heavy cover, you're not gonna get everyone out, especially if they're a little bit bigger. Ooh! Do we need to chill for a minute? Does that mean the frog's hitting? 
Dude, that was like a three pounder too, at least. I saw his whole back come out of the wall. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> that was nuts. I wasn't expecting it. I was looking God. at the motor, dude. I'm trying to pull the motor out because we're getting into the grass and then I get a blow up. Oh my goodness. Oh. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. This is some intense frog fishing. The frog is going wild. I haven't even caught one yet, but just like the, the area, it's like close yep. quarters. Yep, this is straight up. Frog is a weapon of choice. <sighs> Oh, team, this is so cool, dude. Team deathmatch. <laughs> team deathmatch. <laughs> dude, look at all this. Uh, I don't even know what you call this algae back here, but I feel like if I throw my frog on top of that, it could get yeah. splooshed. Can't even see where I'm at. You got it. Just keep going. I'll tell you when. <laughs> I love to get oh, on. Dude, look at how far I casted that. I'm going to get blown up this cast. I have to. You're screwed if you set the hook on a fish that far. Yeah? Nah. No. He's good. I'm He's good, man. I... <gasps> there he is. Go oh, north. missed it. That was a giant. No way, dude. Quit lying. Did you see that? I, I swear I saw, see I saw it. Oh, oh, there is the, it's oh dude, the drag one. is the drag all the way slipped. loose. Why did you leave it loose, Norm? <laughs> <laughs> dude, that was like a freaking five, six pounder at least. That one was big. That oh was my, the biggest blow up. Is he still so, on there? Does he have it? No, he doesn't. <laughs> I'm gonna get back in there, dude. Here, hold up. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna throw it back there again. Here, I'll get us a little closer. Oh, I, you're fine, man. I'm ready. Yeah. Well, yeah, but. I just said it was my drag slip, but I'm good now. If he bites again, he's done. Dude, that was a big in. Oh, that makes me sick. That, that, I mean, that might have been seven or eight. I don't know. I don't know if we've ever caught one this far back there either. <gasps> oh, he's behind it. Oh, he's right there, dude. He's on it. Oh my God, bro. Dude, you're kidding me. Are you good on that fish? Huh? Are you gonna try again? Yeah. All right, you're to the right. I'm gonna go to the left a little bit of you. There was a freaking giant, man. Dude, it was huge. The, the opening he made when he rolled on it. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. I'm like, dang, he left a hole. <sighs> Makes me feel sick. Oh, got him. Oh, there we go. Got him. Dude. He got oh, it that time. That dude, it's a big one. That's a good one. Yeah, back throw in there, dude. I think there's multiple fish back there. Holy cow. That was so cool, though, dude. Wow. <laughs> oh, don't do not do that, Norm. Oh, and he just popped off the frog. Oh, all over the camera lens. That's okay, though. Holy cow. That was so sweet. And the thick of it, dude. Dude. Wow. That's just a frog belongs there or it doesn't belong there because the bass is going to say mm -mm, this is my home so much fun man a frog bite i always go back and forth between my favorite fish to catch or my favorite way to catch fish i'm like oh man like a jig bite that's awesome Popper bite, awesome frog it takes the cake man i don't even know if this is going to beat my fish there might i think there's a couple back there <sighs> smoked it All right, so we have to be- oh, There's a couple oh, back there, Norm. Oh, we got another <laughs> one. Oh, They're on. stacked. All right, so wow. mine is, yeah, it's not gonna be my other one. Oh. It's like two, two five eight, two six, locked on two six. Oh gosh. <laughs> there we go. Dude, there's so oh, many fish back goodness there. goodness gracious. Holy cow. And a frog is one of the few ways y'all can catch these fish back there because they're sitting under that thick stuff yeah, and you can't work all this stuff with hooks. TJ can't even throw his worm anymore, man. So this is uh, just, just a fun way to catch him in the thick stuff. Holy cow, good stuff, man. Double up again. <sighs> what a crazy fishing day. This is nuts. It's just a combination of tons of different vegetation and they're matted up under it. It's probably only a foot underneath, but they just find cover from everything there. I could do this every day for the rest of my life. Throwing frogs, so cool. The thing about summer fishing too is fish go deep. Fish also really relate to vegetation because it provides oxygen. And in the summer heat, there's less oxygen in the water. So bass really tend, I mean, they're always structure oriented all times of year, but especially in the summer, they hang out around that grass because it provides oxygen for them. So when you throw up and there's only grass, there's probably bass in there too. Let's see if we get some more topwater blowups, dude. I'm enjoying myself a little bit too much. Hard. Appreciate y'all. And we won that Guggen's. Oh, oh, it's so cool. It's so, I don't think he's big, but he hit it. Oh, it's a, that's not a bad one. Dude, I'm having too much fun. I don't know if my heart can hold up. Whoa. <laughs> Dude. That freaking, that, that, yeah. 
That's the biggest one so far. Shoot it, guys. Oh, no! Yes! No! Yes! It's like a four pounder, man. I was about to say, look at how good he ate it. It was all the way down his throat, so I had so much confidence. Well, there goes a four pounder. It touched the boat, but you know what? Well, Let's pretend like that never eats it. You can cut that out of the video. Dude, it's so cool, man. They eat it like they, they're there to kill the frog. Well, guys, great trip. I'm self-conscious now because I have a GoPro sweat stain yes. and I'm looking at it, but um, top water blow ups. Yeah, you got the big one. Unboxings, new store, great time. I just, I didn't want to say it, but I also did win. Even without the biggest fish that I never weighed because it flopped off. That was certified. That way it was. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, that would not even make it in the video anyway, so. Also, subscribe to Weston Smith. He'll be linked down below as long with Fishing with Yak Pack. So thank you, boys. Thank you, Weston, for taking us out to the spot. Yeah, pleasure. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm sure whatever we do next will be even crazier. So until the next fishing adventure, Fish Bump, I'm out of here. Look up there to the left of where I cast it. It's like a black thing's out of the water right now. Yeah, it's, oh, a, snake. it's a snake. He's coming for yeah, my frog. Look at it. <gasps> yeah. Oh, it's Dude, a he's snake. Coming, he's coming for my frog. He's going for it. There's a water moccasin following my frog wait, wait, right wait. now. Let it, hold, hold up, hold up. We gotta get this. We gotta get this. Get him close to the boat. I don't want to get him close to the boat. Normally they would have slithered underwater by now. Oh, I hate that so much. That's cool. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Go this way. Go this way. <laughs> he's on you. Okay. Lame. Slither <laughs> on.